Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today I will show you how to make a write-on text effect the easiest way possible in Premiere Pro, like the one you saw at the beginning of this video. Uh, we are not going to use much effects and layers and also we are not going to use some fancy fonts because I saw that the every other tutorial on YouTube with, with some fancy fonts so I want to show you that you can do this with any font you want. Uh, so let's just not waste time and jump into Premiere. First you need a video which you will put the effect on. I will use this video of a city that I used for my black bars tutorial. Now we need to create a title, but we are not going to create our title with the type tool, instead we are going to create a new legacy title. To create a legacy title you need to go to file and then new and legacy title. For this uh, window just click ok here. Now here grab the type tool and make a boundary box. Like that. Uh, I don't know which city this is, but I'm just gonna type Boston, doesn't really matter. Select the text and now place it in center. Make it a little bit bigger and for the font I will use Backman. I said that I'm gonna use some normal fonts, so choose whatever font you want. And for this uh, kerning here, this is the space between the letters, make it bigger. This is really important. And now grab the selection tool and place this somewhere in the center. Click X and now you have created your title. Uh, put it above your video, make it like that. Go forward so we can see it here and there we go. Now we need to add the write on effect. Go to effects and controls and type write on. Here under generate you have write on and just drag and drop this onto your title. This effect will appear under effects and controls, just close this so it doesn't confuse you. That's it, now we have here the write on effect. Now we need to adjust a few settings. So first we are gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see everything better here. Uh, for the brush size make it bigger, so it's at least big as the thickest line of these letters, maybe like that. For the stroke length put 6 seconds, you can change this later. And for the brush spacing put 0.001 and there you go. Now click here on the write on effect and grab this brush and put it at the beginning uh, where you want the write on effect to start. We can make the brush even bigger maybe 30, no this is too much, maybe 20 like that or maybe 18, I think this is okay. Also, it's better to change the color of the brush so you can see that all the letters are covered. You don't need to, but it's easier and you'll see why later. So for the color, I'm going to choose maybe red. It's okay. It doesn't really matter. Now, uh, we need to activate the brush position. So first of all, you, make, you need to make sure that you're at the beginning of your title like that. And now activate the brush position here. And now we're gonna move frame forward and change the position of the brush. We're gonna go and zoom a little bit more so we can see everything better. Click on the right on like that. And now we're gonna go and move a frame forward. And now we're gonna go and change the position of the brush. So basically you need to, co you need to cover all the letters with the brush. I said that it's better to choose a different color for the brush uh, because you can see all the parts that are left of the letter so you can adjust the brush properly. So let's say that maybe you make, le make it like that and you have a little bit of space here, the write on effect will not work. Uh, let me show you better here. I'm gonna make it like that. I'm gonna go and take frame forward and I'm gonna move and the brush like that and let's say this little part here is left and your effect will not work. You need to cover everything properly and that's why we chose other color than the color of the letters. Now let's let go step back and you can make this bigger so you can see everything better. We can go step forward and now let's do it. On the brush you have these little handles here, so you can adjust everything better, maybe you have curves like that, like on B here, so you can adjust everything properly. Mm -hmm. 
Also be careful with the brush between the ladders. Uh, don't leave a lot of dot between. When you're between the two ladders, just connect them with just only one dot like this one. There you go. Now we're done, but make sure that you don't have any uh, white parts of the letters left here because as I said, the effect will not work properly. I think that this is okay. And now go to the effects and controls for the write on effect and at the paint style, instead of on original image, put it on reveal original image. Now let's play this back. And this looks awesome. <sighs> and basically that's it. Uh, you can add some sound effects, maybe like writing a pencil or chalk or something like that. So uh, you make the effect even better. But that's it for the write on effect. Um, and that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. And I will see you in my next video.